Just the relationship we built with him, you know, over our three years there. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, uh, I hate for everything had to go down the way it went down. I mean, on this day. It was a private meeting, obviously. What can you share about what he told you and the team in, the, in this, this team meeting? I mean, no matter what, you know, he always loved us. He, he always will. And, uh, I mean, not not just the, the whole of reason. I mean, we're shocked, too. You know, at the end of the day, just uh, just the memories we have with him. I mean, people gonna say what they say, but to me, you know, he's one hell of a coach. You know, and, and every coach have their own way of coaching, and uh, it's just uh, it's, it's, it's a shock. I know he doesn't want you guys to feel guilty, but there's is there some guilt when the coach gets fired? I mean, of course. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's our coach. You know, if 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 you, if any player anywhere doesn't feel the way about their coach getting fired. I mean, they never, they never truly believed in him, or they never, they never was fun. Leno, were you ever talked to Cam at all today? No, nah, I mean, I'm just coming from the doctor, to be honest. So uh, everything was kind of new to me. Speaking of doctors, how's your health? Yeah, I'm fine. What is your overall reaction to all of this? Uh, it's, it's just shocking, you know, you know what I mean? And at the same time, you know, we understand it's a business, but we developed such a great relationship with these coaches, you know, that, that if, you don't have a father, you, if you don't have a mother, you yeah. always come here and talk to one of them. So uh, it's just, uh, it's hard for some people at this at time at, at these times right now. Jamal Adams said that maybe Joe Oliva said you guys needed a new energy, a new spark. Um, what can Ed Orgeron provide in that regard as an interim head coach? I mean, since since I was in since I was in high school, man, Coach O has always been a great coach, and uh, I believe he has the, the will and the power to do it. How do you feel about Coach Ensmanger? being the offensive coordinator? I mean, they're still our coach, so uh, that's not going to change at all. But Leonard, you have eight games left. That's a lot of football. Uh, what do you want to accomplish in those eight games? I mean, just one out, you know, uh, to show everybody, despite everything that's going on, you know, we still lost at the end of the day and uh, just maintain. You've always said these are your brothers. You're in it for 100%. I mean, even though that some of your championship dreams are – are gone. Yeah. Uh, you, your heart is still with LSU and, and not looking. Oh yeah, most, most definitely. I mean, just the memories I have with these guys. You know, uh, each and every day, just day by day. I mean, the season going by so fast, and uh, I, I can look back and remember being a, a freshman and meeting some of these guys. Man, it's just it's amazing, and uh, to know that they have bright futures too. I mean, it's a blessing just to be a part of this LSU team and uh, to, to create a brothership with these dudes. Were you able to get any one-on-one -on -one time with, with Les? Yeah, I just finished talking to him. So, uh, I mean, I'm just going to keep that between us. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I love him. And uh, I just hope the best for him. And yeah, what do you tell him? What can you tell him in that situation? I mean, he was doing most of the talking. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, What's your best Les Miles memory? If you had one story to tell someone huh. about Les Miles, what would you tell him? I mean, we have, we have plenty of memories. I mean, from the, from the jokes he always try to try to tell us, man. I mean, I mean, from him, from the dabbing, and him just just trying to understand us as just understand our generation, like with all the songs and everything. I mean, every everything we have together, man, is great. There's still a season Leonard, to play. What's the message to the fans now with this? I mean, there's not really no message. I mean, we're gonna come out and play Saturday game by game just to get it done. Leonard, Leonard what's the key you're, you're, to getting this season back on track? What's the key to getting this season back on track? I mean, just stay focused. You know, what? Uh, with everything going on right now, our whole job is to stay focused. You go from the head coach who's relatively tall <laughs> to a guy who's pretty loud and yeah. enthusiastic. <laughs> you think that's kind of what this team needs, a little bit of injection of that kind of, you know, guy who's really, really loud up? I mean, every coach has a different way. So, uh, I mean, in due time, we'll see. Leonard, you you know, you guys are 2-2, two and two and you sprain your ankle, then you bruise it. This is not the start. I'm sure you you thought of your your junior year. I mean, how tough was the month, last month then for you? Nah, I mean, everything happens for a reason. You know, I don't question nothing. I mean, I mean, you never know. So. Anything else on your heart that you want to share? Right now, we haven't uh, talked to you in a while. So. Well, I'm fine. You know, uh, it's over, uh, man. I'm gonna be here uh, playing with my brothers each game. So that's not gonna change. So. Uh, mm -hmm. He's ready to play again.